the rosary. Okay? Convince me, you Protestants who hate the Catholic Church, that's not the work of the Holy Spirit. When I've been begging the Spirit, crying, to, uh, crying out to the Holy Spirit, you guide me to all truth. You save me from error and blasphemy. My life is yours. I love you and I yield to you. Anything that I believe that's false, destroy it from me. And I've been praying that from my heart. And the last thing I wanted to do was embrace the Catholic Church as a true church. Are you telling me the Spirit is not answering that prayer? Because you Protestants think that Catholicism is an abomination? That's just two of many. All right. Now, with that said, this is why I will not attack the Catholic Church anymore. And this is why I pray a form of the rosary because I've been convinced and persuaded by the Holy Spirit. It is pleasing to the Lord Jesus. Let me tell you the, the form of the rosary I pray because I don't know all of it. Can you want me to pray it for you guys? Can I pray it here and show you what I've learned? Because I had to learn on my own. I didn't have someone walk me through it and guide me. Okay? <clears throat> in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> born of the Virgin Mary. Suffered under Pontius Pilate. Was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, <clears throat> the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was, is now, and unto ages of ages, forever and ever. Amen. That's all I've memorized. That's all I know. So there you go. And you don't have to be Catholic to pray. My neck don't bling bling. Now, Maria, for you to help you, sister. Are you aware, sister, that the Catholics who love Jesus will be the first, the first to tell you that there are corrupt popes, bad popes, evil popes who are corrupt? And are you aware that there are Catholics who tell you that the Vatican has been corrupted, that Satan has permeated the Vatican because Satan has brought in his children, wolves in sheep's clothing? In fact, Maria, let me suggest the following YouTube channels. Make sure you watch. Make sure you watch Michael Voris, Church Militant. Michael Voris is a lion of the faith. He is someone who has confessed his struggles with homosexuality. But because of his love for Jesus, he is mortified that sin and he wars against that sin and he will not succumb to it by the power of the Holy Spirit because he knows it's a sin and he loves Jesus more than his sexual desire. And he is a warrior who ex exposes the corruption, the evil, the immorality and the pedophilia of the Catholic Church, though He's a Catholic who loves the Catholic Church. Another great man is Archbishop Vigano. Thank you, username. Okay? So watch the YouTube channel, Church Militant. Another warrior of the Lord who even wrote a book called Infiltration, who is a devoted Catholic who loves Jesus, Taylor Marshall. So you're not the first. There are Catholics who love their church. 
And just because you have corrupt demons who've infiltrated doesn't mean it's not a true church. It means it's infiltrated. And the true Catholics who love Jesus must war against the infiltration and fight for the church. Okay, Maria, so did you understand that now, sister? You understand? I just want to be clear. So go to Taylor Marshall and Church Militant. I love these men. I love these men of God. Robert Syngenis is another one. He's a beast. Yeah, and by the way, people agree. Vatican has been corrupted. It has been corrupted. LDS, the same way God has allowed your fake church to infiltrate Christianity. The LDS, you are a church of the devil. Mormonism is of the devil. Joseph Smith was a son of the devil. So why would God allow your fake church to infiltrate Christianity so that people are deceived into thinking you're a church when you're of the devil? Because 1 Corinthians 11...